My name is Kaylee Gonzalez. I'm an elite applications expert here at MLC CAD Systems. I am also a certified SOLIDWORKS instructor. And as an instructor, I want to go over some information regarding the advanced assemblies training course that we offer here at MLC. Advanced assemblies really is a great class for anybody who is utilizing SOLIDWORKS assemblies. It doesn't matter if you're not doing something very large or very complicated. There's still a lot of phenomenal information that can help you. If you do work with very large assemblies, this is a great class to consider. Perhaps you simply want to streamline your assembly design or learn how to fix errors and do more editing in the assembly or maybe just want to know more about top-down modeling. These are all great reasons to consider taking our advanced assemblies training class. This is a two-day class that's offered both online or in person. No matter which platform you decide to use, it's going to be a live instructor-led training course from someone like myself who is a certified SOLIDWORKS instructor. For the class, you will also be receiving your own training manual. This is a physical manual that you will have to take home with you. This manual also includes three digital copies of the manual for you to also have at your disposal. Now, if you're wondering about class prerequisites, we do have a couple. One is we recommend to have completed the SOLIDWORKS Essentials course. The reason for this is because the last two lessons in that course covers fundamental information on SOLIDWORKS assemblies, such as standard mates, inserting items, and some general day-to-day -day operations, and we'll expand on that in this class. If you're choosing to take this class online, we do recommend you have access to the SOLIDWORKS Toolbox add-in. If your license currently doesn't have that, simply let us know. We can get you a trial for the duration of the class. And of course, knowledge of the Windows operating system is always a plus. So what topics are actually going to be covered in this class? Let's jump into SOLIDWORKS and take a sneak peek. We will be discussing advanced mate types, including the ability to create mate references. Mate references allow mates to be automatically created on common and repetitive mate types. We'll see how we can set those up. We'll also utilize functions such as copy with mates in order to duplicate parts and mates, as well as taking a look at advanced mechanical mates, whether it's cam or a rack and pinion mate. We'll jump into what we call top-down assembly modeling. This is where we will introduce methods on how we can start creating files inside of our assemblies. There's many aspects of this that we have to manage and keep track of, and we'll go through all of those little details with you. We'll be making edits to these parts in context and also discuss virtual parts, saving them externally, and good naming conventions as well. We'll be discussing doing basic edits, whether it's just a dimension change or something more substantial with an error, we definitely cover in this class. And we'll be discussing external references on how we can lock, unlock, or break these on an as-needed basis. We'll cover how to create and utilize assembly level configurations and display states to aid in our design. We'll also be discussing large assemblies, not only utilizing large assemblies, but also simplifying components in order to aid in the performance of our large assemblies. We can do this through assembly visualization or through our performance evaluation, both which provide great information on our assemblies. We'll talk about the large design review. This allows us to open massive assemblies in just seconds. We still have a lot of our day-to-day -day operations in large design review, including inserting components and creating mates. What you can see here is my pan, zoom, and rotate is still very crisp and clean because not everything is loaded into memory. And we'll finish up the class by taking a look at our assembly structure and taking a look at SOLIDWORKS Treehouse, which allows us to make changes, edits, and updates to our assembly structure. So if all this information has really piqued your interest, then we'll also take a look at some of the benefits that you'll get from this class. We noticed that users save time in the actual design process and increase the accuracy of model fit and function through top-down assembly modeling. 
In general, there's a lot of reduction in errors and users learn to successfully manage SOLIDWORKS external references and to manage large assemblies. So if you are interested in this class and you want to learn more, please check out our course offerings at mlc-cad.com or reach out to your local MLC sales representative. They will be more than happy to answer any questions you have about training. Thank you very much for your time and attention and have a great day.